Keep him coming, Apple. <coughs> and <coughs> we oh, here you go. <coughs> are uh, done. Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Apple. Well, what do you have today that's fresh and exciting? Somebody thinks it's time to change the menu at the cafe. Time to fire up the flavor, notch up the nachos, spice up the spice, dial up the delish. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Berry Can Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. Got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from... Don't, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell them I brought here. Left town, out of the country. Not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> my cousin. Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? You know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the chili sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden chili again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet, using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky. <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> oh, sometimes he makes me so angry, I could just... just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since, well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well, oh, he's won the golden chili every year. Oh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that... that... Ugh, cousin of yours! Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I... I... I couldn't. It just isn't my, my, my style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say, it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and... Beat him! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Oh, <laughs> my beers. I know it. <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! No! <laughs> Can Bloom, you're going to have the hottest chili sauce that ever was. With this recipe Apple and I've cooked up, you'll flambe that bully birdie once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. Careful now, there, Barry. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Are we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? Give it a moment. The Hoppin' Poppin' Chili Pepper has a delayed reaction. Know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! Let's see you top that! <laughs> there's hot and there's hot. And that's Hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom, the hottest you have. Hot sauce? It's rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? That. What is that stuff? Huh? So that's his trick. Oh, I should have known. That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the very bitty world. The big blue blazer. Wow. Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species. A giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they gotta grow somewhere. 
So, where? No one knows. It said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. The meandering meadow fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're gonna need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple! Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. Are you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. Keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. Are we ready for more? <laughs> Wonderful. But be sure to leave room for dessert. We have a fresh butterberry pie that's simply scrumptious. I understand what you're doing, my dear. And I am very grateful, but... Me? Oh, I'm just trying to feed you. And keep my mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about it. Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turned that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Bear can bloom. What is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Ah! There must be something wrong! The map doesn't show this! We can't climb down there! It'd take a week! What are we gonna do? Hmm. Strawberry? I'm thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. This lovely, and no way for Cousin What's-His-Name to intrude. A package? For me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> There's no hiding from me, Cuz! Can you hear it? My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove! The sound of victory! <laughs> Big blue blazer. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, wanna go for a walk? No, uh -uh. why not? It's too chilly outside. Yeah. 
made it! It's amazing what you can do when you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. We did it! And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right! But we gotta get going! Well, now what do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you doing? Me. Oh, my! Did I do that? No! Oh, Tisk Tisk. What a shame. I've seen some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> It's nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And uh, the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge. In little pieces. But... but... what happened? Barry Kim Bertram! He destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Kim Bloom. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. I guess we better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. What is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry. Well, now all we can do is wait to hear from the judges. No, but, uh, uh, no, my dear, no. I hadn't thought about it, really, uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? Uh, not that I care, mind you. Uh, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them! Well, what did they say? How did Barry can... Blue? Where'd he go? He had to leave. Take a message. Oh, what did they say? was disqualified for conduct unbecoming a chili grower. They said Barry Kim Bloom's sauce showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barry Kim Bloom. Really, my dear? I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say get 
busy. Start making more hot and not sauce. We put it on our very best bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh no, not again. No, it's from the contest judges. But when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Want to play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good it go! Catch! <laughs> hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! <laughs> Marmalade? Where did you go? Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <gasps> Let's go see Strawberry. What is it? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I, um, I 
really want you girls to try my new aromatherapy herbal eye masks, okay? Now, <laughs> close your eyes and just <laughs> focus on the delightful scent. <laughs> Now, I need you to relax, Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, a uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? <laughs> to 
what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. I vote we wait around in Soundproof Blueberry's bookstore and... It might not be practical. Ride our scooters to Barry Biddy Dale and back? And, uh, back again? We need juice power for that, too. I vote we spend the entire day bored. No! Okay, bored and frustrated. No! I mean, this is a great opportunity. For what? Something new. Something exciting. Fun, different. Like... Like... Hmm. Our own sporting event. What kind of sporting oh. event? Well, I don't know. How about... A relay race! Our own Berry Biddy Relay Race. Huh. Uh huh. Interesting. And why, Biddy? Why not go for Berry Berry Big? A relay race on land, on water, and in the sky. Yeah! We'll have teams. We'll start at the lake with a sailboat race. Yeah! And then you pass the baton to the next team. Uh, uh... <gasps> a steeplechase on frogs! Yeah! Fun! Great! Wow! Sounds wonderful! And then they pass the baton to the third team. A sky race! Flying on birds! Yeah! Yeah! Right. Right. Strawberry really sounds fun. like that! All in favor? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go! I oh, can't wow. wait! <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but... Oh, we can't. We got a job to do. Oh, uh, just for a little while. Uh, if the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Keep at it. We have to find that block. Careful, Earl! There he is! Quick, before he sees us! All right, Cherry is racing for Team 1. And Plum for Team 2. Okay, you zigzag through those buoys to the other side of the lake. Then turn around, and it's a straight shot back to the dock. Good luck! <laughs> You're gonna do it! We'll be cheering for ya! <laughs> Think win! On your mark, get set. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark, get set, go! <laughs>
So, Ed, do you think we're at the lake yet? Uh, for the tenth time, Earl, we're not at the lake yet. We'll know when we get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Uh, what else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see Lake! Hey! We're here!
But this turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. <laughs> you can tell us. Yes, that's right. right. Well, I'm tired. How about you guys? Ooh, we're not here for bed. bed. Ooh, can't, can't wait. wait for tomorrow. Marmalade? Ooh, doggone it, where'd that puppy go? Ringing? I'll tell you my secret, Blueberry. That's because... I turned it off! <laughs> oh, wow! What will your manager say? And my promoter, and my agent, and my stylist, and my trainer, and my publicist, and my tour manager, and my assistant, and, and everyone in Berry Big City, and... <laughs> Lemon, this sunscreen is very wonderfully fragrant. So, uh... Lemony. Glad you like it, Cherry. What about your tour? Girls, I'd like to ask you a favor. Sure, Cherry. Anything. Of course. You name it. I'm going to turn on my phone, call my manager, and tell her I'd like to postpone planning my tour and... Stay here longer? Really? That's fantastic! You it? Cherry, that's wonderful! You're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Thank you so much, Strawberry. I could use a vacation, and I can't think of a better place to take one than Berry Bitty City. <laughs> so, what's on your vacation schedule for today, Cherry? <sighs> I thought I'd sit down by the lake. Blueberry loaned me a thrilling new Patty Persimmon book, Mystery of the Missing Mozzarella. Ooh, sounds like a nice, relaxing way to spend the day. I made you a special cherry turnover for your picnic. Oh, thank you so much, Strawberry. I, I wish I had something for you. No, oh, you being here is enough. Have fun. I will. <sighs> See ya! Hmm, I suspected it was the sous chef all along. What was that? One and two and kickball change. Kickball change, other side and kickball change. Very nicely done. <laughs> Hi, Cherry Jam. Hi, Plum. What is that awful noise? Barry Kim Bloom is learning to play the bassoon. He likes to practice in the gazebo. <sighs> now that is music. Get back to class. See you later. And kickball change, kickball change. <laughs> so cute. Come in. Uh huh. Hello there, Cherry. Uh, Lemon, is is that you? 
Oh, <laughs> sorry. I need to wear these when I do the princess's toes. <laughs> oh, Barrack and Bloom in his bassooning. But it is his new passion. <laughs> so, uh, do you need a pedicure? Oh, uh, no thank you. I'll stop by a little later. Just saying hi. See you later. Bye bye Yum! Souffles! Strawberry, you're such a talented cook. <laughs> Thank you, Cherry. Something special to snack on at the book club tonight. That's very thoughtful of you. Actually, I kind of think I've had enough vacation. Oh, really? You aren't going back to Berry Big City so soon, are you? Oh, no. no. I love it here. It's just, well, everyone makes a contribution in Berry Bitty City. I, I mean, Raspberry makes beautiful fashions. Orange makes sure everyone can get whatever they need at her store. Plum teaches dancing. I, I wish... I wish there was something I could do, too, Strawberry! <sighs> you know what we need? What? A music teacher. That's something you could contribute. Wow! That I can do! <laughs> When can I start? <laughs> now! Excellent, Barrican Bloom. Keep up the practice. Thank you, Miss Cherry. <laughs> Sounding good, Barrican Bloom. <laughs> Very <Yeah>. good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you for letting us use your studio, Plum. Uh, I'm wondering if you could use it a little more. Huh? We all want to learn to make music, Cherry Jam. Well, uh, okay. Really good. You're coming along great, Plum. Thank you. This is great. Now I'll be able to keep the beat for my dance students. Well, that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll learn paradiddles. Paradiddles? Sure. Here, I'll show you. At the rate you're learning, you'll be doing that with your eyes closed by the time we hold a recital at the end of the week. Recital? Oh, I can't wait. Cherry, wait! What is it, Plum? Well, do we really need to have a recital? <laughs> well, sure. It's customary. Is customary necessary? A recital is a good learning milestone. Something to work for. <laughs> well, that's what my music teacher used to say. Part of the fun of making music is performing it for others. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh-huh. See ya. I better keep practicing. perform the Paradiddle Symphony. But I didn't learn paradiddles yet. Paradiddles! <gasps> Faster! The audience is falling asleep! <laughs> oh no! <gasps> Not very good, 
good, were we? Not very good, were we? <gasps> I'm sorry. I did as good as I could. I... I... Huh? Ah, <sighs> what a nightmare. Applejack, one and two and one and two and box step and crazy legs. Crazy legs, box step and crazy legs. Crazy legs and shimmy and shimmy. That's it. Shimmy and fall off the log. Fall off the log. Fish tails, fish tails. That's it. You're swimming, you're swimming. And shish kaboom ba. One, two, three, four. Shish kaboom ba. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Whoa! Oops, sorry about that. Again. Here, Plum. Oh, thank you. Uh oh. Let's end class a little early today. Good work, everyone. Bye, see you later. Bye. Thanks, Plum. my bow. Oh, no worries. Back under, please. Uh, F. Oh, no, no, G. Uh, -la -la -na 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 -na. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Careful with that thing, Orange. That thing is called a bow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, Lemon, could you? Oh, of course. Pardon me. I I think this hand is done soaking. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Girls, do you think it might be possible, pretty please, to do your practicing elsewhere? This is salon time. But we have to practice for the recital. Every moment counts. <laughs> we're sorry, Lemon. You are absolutely right. Girls, we're being rude to Lemon. We all need the talent that Lemon has to offer, so we should show respect for her work and not get in the way. Oh, there Hi, you Chira. are. Hi. How's hey. it going? Girls, I wanted to let you know I'm moving the recital to next Tuesday. Really? But we'll be ready. We've been practicing. No, it's Plum. She sprained her wrist and, and needs a couple more days to recuperate. Oh, no. Poor Plum. That's terrible. Well, that gives us more time to practice. I guess I'll need another salon appointment for the day before. Me too. Me three. Can you put me down for one, two, Lemon? Got it. Raspberry, that's great! You're ready for Tuesday's recital right now! Oh, thanks, Terry. Uh, I wanted to ask, though, or request, I mean, uh, ask a favor. Sure. Well, Plum just told me she needs a new dress for the recital, and I don't have time to make one, well, to finish one by Tuesday. I feel so bad for her. She's really up... dis... upset. She wanted me to ask you. Oh, you really care about her, don't you? Well, I just know how much difference a new dress can make, you know? No problem. Will another day be enough? Sure. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I'll tell the other students. Wednesday it is. Okay, here I come. Ooh, I can't wait. It's going to look smash, uh, terrific, uh, smasherific on her. Gorgeous. Beautiful dress, Raspberry. It looks exquisite on her. Stunning. Perfect. She'll look great at the recital. Recital. <laughs> Are you okay?
okay? Hey, Flum! Oh, poor thing. Uh, uh, let us help you up. Ouch! I don't think I can sit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor Plum. Um, in fact, I... I don't think I'll be able to sit at my drum set at all. A at least for a couple of days. Until it's, uh, better. Well, I guess we could put off the recital again. Another day or two? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. That's okay. Sure, Plum. We can wait. Oh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Because I really want to be part of the recital. <laughs> until tonight. Uh, that's just the thing, Cherry. You see, I... I can't find my drumsticks. You can't find your drumsticks? No problem. I'll help you look. Oh, I'm sure I can find them. All I need is just one more day to look for them, I mean. Another day? But I just baked these for the recital. I know, but poor Plum. She's having so many troubles. Strawberry, is it true? We're postponing the recital again? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Oh, I was so excited to perform, but now I've built up too much excitement, and I'm, you know, losing my nerve. I can't do everyone's hair and nails every day. I, I just can't do it anymore and practice my bass. I, oh, I just can't do it. But poor Plum, she can't find her drumsticks. Hmm. I think I know where they might be. Let's wait a bit before postponing the recital. I'm gonna go help Plum find what she needs. Ouch! Oh, sorry. You're sure you had your drumsticks when you were picking flowers? Sure. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I think so. Oh, Strawberry, I'm so sorry uh, about delaying the recital and all. I know. I am too. And everyone else. But I thought everyone would be happy to have more time to practice. Well, at first, maybe, but now they've built up so much anticipation, they're all getting nervous. I know it isn't your fault, but... If everyone didn't want to wait, then why did they? Because we care about you, Plum. Oh. Oh, Strawberry. I didn't realize. Everyone's been so kind and patient, and I've been making up excuses to put off the recital. But why? You love to perform. You dance for us all the time. But I'm good at dancing. This is different. I've never performed all by myself at something I make lots of mistakes at. In front of people all looking at me. Hmm. You have a point there. Let's see how many mistakes we're talking about. Just you and me. Oh. Okay if it's just you. <laughs> oh, you found them! <laughs> yeah, wonder how they got in there. <laughs> Whoa, neat! <laughs> when did you learn that beat? These are called paradiddles, and every time I try them... <laughs> that happens. Try again, but hold on a little tighter. Oh, Lemon's gotta see this. Can I call her? Oh, well, I guess that'd be okay if it's just you and Lemon. Hi, Lemon. Uh, thank you, Mo. 
the lady. Oh, Blueberry's got to see this. Oh, and look what else Cherry taught me for the recital. Wow, Plum, that's great. I think you really are ready for the recital. Oh, well, I have an idea. It's not really fair that everyone else hasn't had a chance to warm up. Why don't we all do a number together to start off? Oh, that would be great, Cherry. So, can we let the rest of the audience in? Sure. I'm ready. Thank you, everyone. That's it? The rest of the students are already here. <laughs> oh! I insisted on being invited as a prospective student. <clears throat> I am thinking of taking up the bassoon. Oh, that's oh, great, oh, Princess! Oh, you will be so good at it! Oh, that's fantastic! Princess, we could play a duet. As you wish, Barrack and Bloom. As you wish. <laughs> 